Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Um, Vincent, obviously you were here. What was that? Uh, was it a couple of months at this point? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, two months ago. Okay. Like okay. Um, and then we've got Vincent for at least the first hour here. We've got Vincent. Um, I think you you you're you're having some kind of surgery tomorrow. Right in the morning, gonna get my uh, carotid laid open. So I'm okay. getting bed. Um, okay, so you know, first of all, uh, good luck on that I surgery. It. Hope it goes well. Um, I don't know if you could talk about what exactly happened there. I know <laughs> you've kind of you've lived <laughs> what you did undercover. <laughs> I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Oh uh, well, I've I've taken some bumps and bruises. Mm -hmm. My lifestyle wasn't the most healthy, so I get to pay the piper. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully that all goes well, man, and you uh, you know you recover if not, from that. This will be the last show I'll be on. No, 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 <laughs> no. We don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. Uh, we would love to see you back. Um, does that does that surgery have anything to do with smoking? Because you're still smoking. <laughs> um, it's either smoking, the drinking, or the bad diet, um, or okay. all of them. Oh, okay. All right. Of which still... I'm not going to change anything. So I mean, okay. <laughs> all right. So you're still okay. Obviously, you're still drinking. Still smoking, still doing all that stuff. All right. <laughs> Drink, smoke, shoot, baby. <laughs> all right, good. How are you health-wise, Mike? You good? Everything is uh, good for me. You know, I got this new chocolate lab since you were out here last time. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he gets me up every morning. We go for a two- or three-mile run and wash. So mm -hmm. I never thought I'd run again. In fact, the last time you were here, I think I just had my hip replaced. Wow, well, yeah. And, uh, wow, you're running on a hip replacement? Kudos, brother. Good job. And, and two ankle replacements. Yeah. I love that dog, by the way. I follow oh. you all the time. Every time you post it up, I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if he could just find a woman for me, I'd be in good <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, he's, uh, so he's, he's slacking. You got to get the work done. He's, uh, he's, he's more Labrador and not so much Retriever. Yeah. Uh, one thing you guys both have in – first of all, you're both tough guys. I think Mike is a really – that's I always have thought that about Mike. He's a really tough dude. Uh, you're both Marines. That's something you Except guys have in common. Except in common. Five, brother. Yeah. Kind of like completely different. Mike looks so – you know, he looks like an FBI, <laughs> ATF. He looks like some kind of agent, <laughs> Mike, right? I mean, this is – People could well, disagree. yeah. I've I've kept short hair all my life and <laughs> yeah. not got any tattoos or anything. So yeah, you look all official <laughs> and presidential. You know, like maybe Secret Service dude or whatever. And then Vince, Vince, hey, Vince, hey, hey. <laughs> Vince, Vince looks just like oh, okay, this guy's a criminal. I, I don't even well, need to see any kind of background yeah. checks. But see, you know, Vince is smart. Because nobody looks at him and goes, that's a f***ing agent. Yeah. I mean. Right? The, no. He Listen, wearing undercover cop, they're even going to look. There's no way. <laughs> this guy. Come on. Dude, this is my favorite shirt. It never fails. I don't care what bar I go into, what grocery store. Somebody, like a bunch of somebody's will go, oh, my God, you're an undercover cop. And I'm like, shh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely so listen um i i don't know vincent have you got a chance since you came on obviously we did some videos and uh there are lots of people that were really uh, upset about that i think in the gun community there's a lot of guys that aren't very happy about law enforcement i don't know um i would consider both of you guys are in the gun community right i don't know yeah. mike or vincent if you would agree or disagree with that I found there's people who don't like any kind of law enforcement, and they specifically in the gun community don't like ATF agents. Am I wrong in that assessment? No, I think that's I think it's a fair assessment. I think we've probably earned that jacket with some questionable 
leadership over mm-hmm. the years. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we can't keep quit shooting ourselves in the foot. Mm-hmm. So to speak. Um, so to speak. We haven't had oh, a, there goes, there a goes. permanent <laughs> director since 2005. You know. Yeah. I mean. Right. So. Um, I think, you know, I think that was kind of, there were people who actually really enjoyed it. Um, there were people who were like, you have to have this guy on again. And then there were folks like, never have this guy on. <laughs> and then there were a lot of people who said, you have to have Vince on with Mike Daddy. That's how it has to go down. Because obviously, Mike, you went through your things. But, you know, I think like if you go back to, because we've known each other now for for years. I think if I go back to the years, I think you were maybe a little bit more upset about this in the beginning. But maybe time has kind of like made it easier for you to look back at it. Am I wrong with that? Yeah, or? I mean, you know, time has a way of helping you put things in perspective. And mm-hmm. and the biggest thing is I'm here. I'm still alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 you know, the... The thing was, uh, the way that they used me, I didn't care too much for. I thought I was really helping them take down the cartel, which is mm-hmm. what they told me I was doing. Uh, I was happy to make that sacrifice uh, to get involved that deep, you know, because I thought that was a pretty worthy cause. But mm-hmm. once I found out that it, it was never about taking out a cartel, it was just about sending guns to Mexico. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, um, when, when I became a liability is when they realized that I knew too much and that I'd been recording them and keeping notes and so forth. Um, that's when they decided, hey, let's let's let these guys take care of them. When I say these guys, I mean the cartel guys mm-hmm. and started putting my name out in the court docs, which was something I was assured was never going to happen. Um, that, that, that pissed me off a little bit. But like I said, you know, time. I've had time to think about it. It's, I shouldn't take this personally because it wouldn't matter if it was me or Vince or Hank mm-hmm. that had been involved in this. We were all going to suffer the same fate. Mm-hmm. Uh, so in that regards, I don't take it personally like that anymore. This is just the way the government operates. and I wish I could say it was just limited to ATF, but we know that's not true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we've I think we've seen uh, unfortunately in the last few years we've seen that with lots of alphabet agencies. I mean even the FBI. Remember the and and when Vincent was on we were talking about FBI versus ATF and FBI always had like this high ideal in people's minds, right? Or held a high position in everyone's mind like the cream of the to- the the cream of the crop, the top of everything in terms yeah, of well, integrity that's not and the all case that. Anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's the case with a lot of these government agencies, and in a lot of ways, they're being used, poli- uh, you know, politically to go after people, including president, right? So, I mean, and and the crazy thing about it is that no one or not enough people in America think that's a terrible thing. You had no one resigning, no one punished, or anything like that, even though the FBI clearly went after a president. Um, we're, we're talking about what happened with, with Mike Deddy. Vince, do you have an no, opinion? Nobody, have you followed? Nothing happened to anybody that uh, tricked fucked Mike. Mm-hmm. They sidestepped it. They gave blank uh, redacted documents, gave marginal testimony. Mm-hmm. I'll never forget the day Daryl Issa held up that totally redacted page mm-hmm. and was trying to get to the bottom of what was going on and they just refused to answer the questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what should have happened to those guys? Can you? Uh, what do you think? As the guy on the inside and the ATF agent. Now, you you never did you ever deal with guys like Mike? Because I think the difference with what you described when you were on when it and when it comes to Mike Deddy, he wasn't a criminal. This is a guy that has led a pretty straight life, served his country, all that kind of stuff. Been he a was good doing guy his whole life. Patriotic thing. Right, and right. And that's what we always tried to do was enlist the FFLs with some integrity to, you know, help us keep a finger in the dam. Let's slow down these guns. We, we, I hate to use the word informant or con- confidential source, but we used dozens and dozens of FFLs over the, my career. But the difference was we didn't put them in the trick bag. We protected them. We 
concealed their identities, and we didn't ask them to do that. That foolishness they pulled out there was a, a lack of leadership, a, a bureau out of control, and uh, we're still paying for that now. Nobody for, has forgotten wide receiver or fast and furious. Mm-hmm. And people did get hurt. I mean, not not just uh, people on our side and, and good guys get hurt, but lots of people in Mexico got hurt with oh, the hundreds, guns that were allowed to go over there. Hundreds of people were assassinated with guns that we let go across the border. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of, I, I mean, I understand where Mike is coming from, right? I mean, you got to understand that. This is a guy who's got to live with with all the things that went on here, and I, and I kind of get it, right? If you you know, at the end of the day, like Mike said, you got to realize the universe. It's not just you; it's everyone that they do that they do this to. But whenever I think about it, it makes me mad. You know, yeah, I, I, I've been um, embarrassed, angered. Um, mm-hmm. I know the people that were involved in those investigations. Mm-hmm. And they abused our authority. They uh, failed to remain apolitical. Mm-hmm. You know, they got involved in politics, and that's what scares me now about the Bureau. Um, the new administration has made it clear that they're on a mission to go after guns, mm-hmm. guns in general, not even people. Not even people breaking the law, just the guns themselves. Mm -hmm. And if ATF doesn't stand up and go, no, that's not what we do. We don't go, we don't go after law abiding citizens with guns. We go after criminals, armed career criminals, convicted felons, terrorists, uh, biker gangs, street gangs. Um, We could end up being a puppet of this administration. Um, I think end up is probably uh, underestimation. I mean, I think already, even before the administration has taken over, they're kind of like a puppet. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.